Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, beauties. Hey, beauties. Hey, beauties. What is going on y'all how is everybody doing today how is y'all mental how's y'all mental your girl is feeling good i am having an amazing day so far so i am claiming that y'all okay i am claiming for more better days you know what i'm saying so um even though you know i'm already um grateful and i am blessed that I have the opportunity to be able to wake up every single day. You know what I'm saying? So I am very thankful for that. But um, I hope you guys are also having a good day as well. Um, right now, I am going to start off this video with, with um, driving to the farmer's market as of right now. Um, so as you guys see in the thumbnail, I am getting ready for a uh, a self-healing day and i don't think i did a vlog on a self-healing day yet so i thought that this was another way for me to open up the gate to you guys and show you guys like exactly what i do um i am still learning you know what i'm saying i am taking this healing journey step by step every day you know because it's not you can't just heal in one day that's just not how it works you know what i'm saying um I don't really like when people say, oh, I'm healed. You know what I'm saying? No, healing is, a, is an everyday thing. It doesn't just, you can't just heal yourself like in one day. You know what I'm saying? So um, right now I'm on my way to the farmer's market to get the herbs, to get, I already ordered some things that's online. So that's already at my house. But um, right now I am, hold on you guys. Right now I'm on my way to the farmer's market to get some um, flowers, to get some produce and stuff that I need because our refrigerator is almost a little low on that. So that is what I'm doing right now, you guys. And um, I always take time out to do a self-healing day, mainly because like I like to keep myself aligned. I like myself, I like to be more um, centered. I'm using that word like center, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, as you guys can tell, when I'm out of place, like, um, I like to go in nature and, like, um, I like to be underneath the sun to get my vitamins. And, you know, like, I just like to be whole, you know. So, as of right now, I'm not, I'm, I'm actually feeling really, really good. Um, I just want to keep the process. I want to continue to keep doing it. Keep, I want to continue to keep, like, practicing. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I just wanted to take you guys along my journey. Like I said, I'm processing things day by day. You know, I'm you know what I'm saying? Like taking out that quiet time to, you know, just like um, be, be by myself and continuing to like uh, hear myself in thought. You know what I'm saying? While the world is silent. So yeah you guys i know i'm saying a lot for the intro and stuff but like um i just like to be very authentic and very transparent with you guys because this is not no clicking bait type of thing this is actually my real life you know so um yeah i just wanted to just you know just take it a little bit more personal because i know a lot of people it's like you know well who is tashiana or who is tashiana or whatever the case is and every video that you guys see this is actually what i do like every day you know what i'm saying so um ooh, i just like to take you guys along what i'm doing like day by day you know sometimes i don't get this Okay, that's great. Like, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I don't get the chance to, you know, like record everything between, you know, working the nine to five and eventually like trans, uh, transferring into like the full entrepreneur. But I know like it, it takes time. You know what I'm saying? Like God already has my plans um, planned out. You know what I'm saying? So um, 
I'm just taking it like, you know, day by day and continuing to put my visions out there and turn my visions into, um, be, I'm going to say, um, more actionable about like, you know, what I'm doing. So this is just, um, one of those days. Ooh, this AC is like blowing. Please do not go with that dog out the window. Goodness gracious. I could not have my dog out the window. She will not do it. She actually know how to press the button. I know that's like a little like random, but this car just had me thinking about that. But yeah, you guys. So just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to talk to y'all um, more like on a personal side today. Um, you guys will get like more vlogs that's like this. Um, that's the reason why I actually started YouTube. Um, and if you guys do not know actually how I started YouTube, I actually, um, I actually w went off Instagram for like a year. Well, six, uh, six months to a year. I want to say a year. It started off at six months, but it ended up being a year. And, um, and I went off of it because, you know, I just needed to be like with myself. You know what I'm saying? I needed to hear myself and, um when it was time for me to like okay i want to get back out there in the world um i would i would do another vlog to be like more personal on um, my solitude journey but um this one is more so about like just my self-healing like practices that i do some of my self-healing practices that i do let me correct myself because i don't want anybody jumping to anything and saying oh you're supposed to do it this way oh you're supposed to do it that way um to be honest there is no correct way everybody do things completely completely different you can't tell somebody which way is the best way to do something everybody does it completely different everybody has an opinion about something you know what i'm saying everybody has an opinion about something so there's no correct way or there's no wrong way of like of doing anything um, when i wanted to put myself back out and back out there in the world the first thing that i went to was um youtube and actually my cousin told me to start youtube actually like two years ago because he just said that he just feels so like you know youtube is more for me you know what i'm saying so um because i, don't, I mean i don't know why he said that but i guess he just seen something that i had to like be like cuz like you need to do this you know what i'm saying because he's he's already a youtuber so um and thank you cuz i know i always and this is like my third video saying this but like i really do appreciate the people that give me the chance to you know like uh put myself out there because sometimes i can be an introvert on certain things and um when you a business owner like you have to show people your life you know but uh and I'm, I'm still getting used to it it's still like um very different for me i'm used to that where it's very like different for me but like um it's just opening up myself and um i'm just i'm in my 30s so you have to you have to unlearn to learn and that's just where i'm at you know what i'm saying but when I came out of that six months to a year uh, solitude, like I said, I just, I, the first thing I did was get on, um, was get on YouTube, you know, and you guys are a vibe. So it's really, really cool to, to um, get responding comments and for people to share their tips and to continue to like build your own community of like like-minded individuals you know what i'm saying like i really really like that like there's a difference of to be there's a difference when you're building your community as a beginner youtuber than um being on ig and you just have people watching what you do you know what i'm saying because sometimes people some people prey on you failing you know what i'm saying and um for me that's not an option you know what i'm saying so that right there I don't really like I don't really care too much like like about that for real but people really do but um like I said I know this was like a long intro um I hope you guys are like I said continuing to have like a, a really really good day you know what I'm saying don't let anybody like steal your peace you know what I'm saying
don't let anybody steal your peace. Don't let your mom, don't let your dad, don't let your, don't let your siblings, don't let your cousin, don't let your guardian, don't let your friends, associates, don't let a job steal your joy, steal your peace because you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Every bit of it. So, um, you guys, I have finally made it to the farmer's market. Don't forget to like, comment, and also share who is Tashiana, this vlog, with your family and your friends. But the next time you guys see me, we're going to start the self-healing practices. So, i see you guys next time on the next clip. And like I said, don't forget to have a good day. make Jay Fennell's version that she found on TikTok and since we both are um, eating low carbs we're going to try this y'all I don't know if you guys can see it so we're going to try this it is hearts of palm it's, actual, it's actually a vegetable so we're going to try this um, we're also um, not doing sugar or should I say she's not doing sugar so we got to make our own soy so we have this this as well for our soy sauce and these are all our vegetables that I'm actually about to wash so let me get all this out so I can see what I'm doing y'all no idea and my counter is clean okay like I am I want to say I'm like a clean freak in the kitchen but I do like my kitchen clean so I literally just finished washing my dishes some ginger we have fresh garlic but since we already have like some in the container we're gonna do this and then I gotta make some pico so let me go ahead and get started clean this area up and we gonna get to cooking so like I said, I did manage to chop up everything. I already put like my onions and peppers like in the pan and stuff. I had to get some new pans, but we're gonna go ahead and get into cooking this amazing dish. Or you haven't hit that age yet 
y'all know what I'm talking about when you get there <laughs> you will but y'all I want to talk about something um so I met I met um this dude recently and this is how you know like you growing and stuff like there are just like conversations that you just when you get to a certain point in life and stuff or whatever and you know exactly what you want and you know exactly what you're gonna do to get there you suddenly start noticing or you started to you start to realize the people that you need to fill those holes you know what I'm saying to build that team you know what I'm saying and to be honest like if you ain't on that type if you ain't on that type of time of like building yourself up and being impeccable with your word and you have a vision for yourself you have a vision for your life and stuff or whatever I ain't going for it you know what I'm saying like we're not going for it I'm gonna put it like that and um yeah so I had to like I had to end that conversation like real quick like sometimes like I sit there and I listen to people and all that kind of stuff or whatever but I'm in the era now to where like yeah I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going for it you know what I'm saying like everybody got problems and stuff but you also got to realize that um you just can't take anything personal you know what I'm saying so and it's even with yourself it's with other people like you just cannot you just can't take it personal you just gonna be you got to be like okay like like I see you I hear you and then like just gone about your day you know what I'm saying but you can't take nothing personal so um or make assumptions you know so yeah y'all so I'm just I just had to tell y'all that because like that literally like just happened and I was like I need to tell my beauties about this you know what I'm saying and it's called growth you know and it's crazy they didn't end up falling on a day like this where you know we're taking care of ourselves and you know getting myself right so oh man it literally it's raining y'all it is raining did i miss my exit i should know where i'm going by now this is ridiculous if i don't know where i'm going i really do feel like i missed my exit Y'all, I'm gonna be back. I feel like I'm excited. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I did not miss my exit. I was actually like two miles away from it. So I was just thinking ahead. But um, yeah, I want to put y'all on this book that I'm reading. I put it in the community chat online. So I know y'all already seen the book. But um, for those that haven't, it's called the Four Amendments. And these four amendments is like I said, it's probably like I'm reading this book even like right now, currently, as I am not only videotaping this, or should I say vlogging this, well both, but also um, I'm going through the self-care day, you know what I'm saying? But it talks about like the four amendments and how the four amendments is about, you know, like um, being impeccable with your word and stuff and that's one thing that um my mom has always told me and my sibling is to like always be careful with your tongue you know what i'm saying and the things that you speak so um i i am happy that i was able to see that because like it just gave me like a refresher you know to just continuing to like you know like be be careful with the things that I say. Why did you slow down like out of nowhere? Like, come on now. Like you got somebody behind you. But, um, and to, like I said earlier, to not take anything personal, you know? Like we go through life where something don't go our way or whatever the case may be and stuff or whatever. Like, we feel like we get offended about we get offended about it but you know like you just can't you know you just gotta be you gotta go with the flow and be like all right you know like it is what it is you know what i'm saying going about your day you know what i'm saying like that's 24 hours and something don't go as planned and stuff or whatever shoot shoot you got to you got the right to continue to like change your day you feel me 
so like that was two and then there's another one which i really really love i love all of the uh, amendments but this one is um there's four but there's i think there's between six to eight chapters right now i'm on chapter six so i don't even know how many chapters chapters there is um but um one of the the third amendment is to always do your best and no matter what you're doing you know because it's just gonna just like lead continue to lead you in the direction that you're headed towards so it just reminded me to like you know just like always do my best and no matter like what i'm doing because the outcome is going to come out better than what i plan for it to be so um i really really like that step and then one of the, the chapters that I'm on now is just about like personal freedom. You know what I'm saying? And when people look at freedom, they think of it as if like a financially situation, like, okay, like I want to be free from that. And if that's what you want, then, you know, cool. But this one is more so like of letting go of like, um, the, 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 your childhood trauma and then like unlearning to learning things and stuff. So, because those are a lot of time the things that like set us back. So I really, I really, really do like like this book, you know, because like I said, it's definitely like a refresher for me. And there's also some things in this book that I did not know. So I like that. But um, beauties, I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit. Um, like I said, I am, I am opening up this book. You guys are going to see. Um, me on a personal level you guys are going to see me on a on an emotional level you guys are going to see me on on all kind of levels we're going to say it like that you guys are going to see me on all kind of levels um i am almost there y'all it's so cloudy out here like we just got hit with rain for like all entire week entire week Oh gosh. Okay, put this coffee down, girl. Put this coffee down. But y'all, let me go ahead and head on down here to the gym. Oh, I don't even think I told her that I was on my way. I just got in the car and I just headed out. But um, I want to say th again, thank you guys. I know I've been telling y'all over a million times, like thank you for watching me. But I really do appreciate you guys, um, because you guys are literally following me like on my journey as I'm just figuring this thing out. You know what I'm saying? and i care for the people that's like watching me you know what i'm saying you just never know i might end up like building my team out of somebody that's watching my vlog you know and that is just being so like authentic being so transparent and like like come on like i, I end up building my team out of somebody that's watching my page like that's a bar you feel me like that is literally that is literally like a bar like that is like amazing but you guys let me go ahead and hit this girl up and i'm gonna see you guys later because we finna get and get in this gym we finna and continue to get our bodies right oh yeah you guys i lost i lost a total of seven pounds i'm almost at my goal i am so happy i think i got like eight more pounds to go before i hit my weight goal and then i'm gonna start like really really toning but I am excited. I am so excited. But you guys, I'm gonna get ready and um, go ahead and hit this gym. Oh, also, you guys, don't forget in the community to let me know what times you guys are on YouTube the most. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I want to go live with y'all. But I'm gonna see y'all later. Alrighty, y'all. So we just left the gym. We was in there for an hour. Oh my gosh, it felt so good. But you guys, I want to talk about like the act of kindness. You know what I'm saying? Like kindness goes so far. Um, just by being kind to each other, you know, you just helping the next person. You know, like smile. You know, you helping the next person overcoming like a hole that's just so deep in their heart they just that they just never know if it can ever be filled again you know and um just being kind to the next person you know you just never know what 
the next person may be going through oh man that is a horrible accident remember i told y'all like it's raining out here so this was a pickup truck that was that has something on the back of it and another car that got into an accident but um and i'm not about to like film that because that has nothing to do with me and i need to pay attention to the road but um yeah you guys you just never know what the next person may be going through they could be overcoming you know like suicidal thoughts you know they can be overcoming you know the loss of a friend or a family member you know what i'm saying they could be overcoming um losing a job you know or losing a, losing a home like the act of kindness like just goes so far you know and just telling the next person like you love them you know like we live in the world where people are scared to tell the next person you love them you know what i'm saying like i don't see nothing wrong with a guy telling another guy you know i love you or female telling another female like you know i love you sis you know what i'm saying like in today's world like people act as if like you know like it's not needed no it's needed you know what i'm saying like let that anger go let that frustration go you know what i'm saying like like i was saying earlier like don't take anything like personal you know what i'm saying what somebody else is going through has nothing to do with you but what you can do is you can be respectful you can be kind and you can tell that next person yo i love you you know what i'm saying like yo i see what you're doing you know what i'm saying like you're doing good deeds out here you feel me so um So like like I said, like don't don't be too harsh on like the next person. Please watch your words and you know like um just do just do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Just just do the right thing, y'all. But this rain is getting a little heavy. But y'all, I want to get home safe. Um and I'm gonna see you guys. I mean I'm gonna see you guys later when I get home because I need to stretch and everything and hold on y'all I want to make sure like this is like no 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 um this is a different kind of rain like it's rain plus wind blowing at the exact same time so and we haven't had rain in a long time for real so I want to um I'm gonna see y'all later yeah I'm gonna see you guys later and I know y'all see that balloon back there. So for my sister, y'all, y'all just that's watching this. Girl, happy birthday, boo. Happy birthday. We're gonna turn up for your birthday. So um yes, y'all. Let me get down this road, be safe and all that kind of stuff or whatever. And again, boo, happy birthday. I'ma see you later. <laughs> very gloomy outside so right now I'm about to get into stretching since I didn't stretch at the gym and I'm gonna do a little yoga um, don't forget to smash that like button comment share and um, stay connected with me on all social medias but your girl is gonna get ready and get her stretch on because my body is a little intense <music> juice let me tell y'all it is so good it's sweet and spicy and the main reason why um i made this is because y'all i had a taste for i don't know if y'all drink margaritas but i haven't had a margarita since when was i had a margarita i don't know if i had a margarita on jay Fennell's birthday but 
um, months before that, maybe a year ago, um, she was hooked on these um, watermelon jalapeno margaritas. And since I haven't been having like no liquor or anything for real since, like I said, since her birthday, like we're all the way in September. Her birthday is in June. Actually, that was the last time I had some something to drink was her birthday. Dang, I haven't had liquor since since June, but I may have a glass of wine like on my sister's birthday though, because you know, like red wine at that. But um, anyways, or will I have a white? I think white has more sugar than red wine. I don't know. Anyways, y'all. Anyways, <laughs> she was hooked on these watermelon jal jalapeno margaritas. So I had a taste for that. So I was like, instead of having the margaritas, I'm going to create my own uh, cold pressed juice. So I made a watermelon jalapeno uh, fresh juice. So it's actually pretty good. It tastes just like it. The only thing is it doesn't have any um, tequila in it. So... So it is so good. But now y'all, I am about to, I have like these little leg, like little compressions for my legs and stuff. So I'm gonna get ready and put this on. Oh man, where's the back to this? Oh, they share a cord, these things share a cord. So I have to use the neck one first. The next one first. I feel like I go to the um, I go and I get a massage done, like the, to the masseuse or something like that when I put these on. Cause baby, these things feel so good. Oh. So I already got it plugged up. So I'm gonna do my neck first, and then I'm gonna do my legs. <laughs> I don't think I told y'all, but I added eucalyptus to the collection. Looking so good. The peppers are growing over there. If y'all can really tell, all the way over there they're growing. But I'm so happy. The lines are getting huge. Hey beauties, so oh yeah, I just gotta take a deep breath. I just have to take a deep breath, okay. But um what I want to tell you guys is one of the last things that I like to do before I pray and I stretch and I get into bed is every week. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I literally just had some peanuts. So it's like in my throat. <clears throat> and my water is in the kitchen. And I haven't fixed me no juice yet. But um, one of the things that I love to do that I have included in my routine every week is a nice hot bath. Okay? But the bath that I do is more so like an herbal spiritual type of bath. All right, y'all. So I'm back, y'all. I had to go and get me some water because your girl was over here choking on these dang on peanuts. But like I was saying was um, I love to include like my my bath every week as a ritual because we come into contact with like different things every day. And I honestly like to just clear my mind. Um, I like to just cleanse my soul. And then I also like to just heal my chakras as much as possible while being intentional you know what i'm saying so i wanted to show you guys like everything that i use for my bath um on today's like little like I, I don't know i don't know what to call this video you guys so 
y'all would see it in a thumbnail with whatever I'm going to call it. But this is just something like a ritual routine that, like I said, like I do it every week. Um, and like I said, like I just like, I'm just showing you guys along my journey of like what I like to do. But this is an oat and honey bath that like I cleanse myself with. And um, my skin is very sensitive. So oh, before I even got into like doing these kind of routines, like um, there's like a lot of soaps that I can't use. One of the main soaps that I cannot take is um, green soap. It's just something about that green dye that just um, breaks my skin out actually. And that's the reason why um, I actually bathe with like face and body mask um and also like this oak this oak um tea bag that i have just full of like a whole bunch of herbs and stuff and then i was tell you guys more about that like in another video i don't have enough time to do it right now and then um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys also like what the tub look like right now i need more bubbles so you guys are not gonna see like a heavy load of bubbles in the tub yes i'm a bubble girl so like i love bubbles but i'm gonna show you guys like what i have right now tub looks like right now i'm still like adding to it let me go ahead and throw this in there go ahead and just let that get itself together and stuff there's like actually like oatmeal that's in there and also some um magnesium um magnesium salt that's in there it's kind of like epsom salt but way better than that and if you guys want to know more about it just leave me a couple like comments and stuff and i'll just tell you guys more about it but we have uh shells that i actually picked out from the beach I have my money tree here, you know, for like abundance and stuff. I have jasper crystals. I have a whole bunch of, um, what do I have? I have amethyst over there. I have rose quartz. I have clear quartz. I have a whole bunch of crystals, you guys. I, I have more even over here that I haven't even like added to the bunch yet and some like outside the room that's on my table that i'm gonna also add but you guys um i'm gonna go ahead go ahead and like get in the tub i'm gonna try to find me some more bubbles because like i said like your girl love her some bubbles and i'm gonna um get my face together put my mask on and stuff and then i'm gonna get ready and go ahead and get in in a second so i'm gonna see you guys in a minute um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i want to thank you guys again for you know just tuning in to who is Tashiana, and just for also um coming with me like along my journey and stuff um like i told you guys like i'm still like very new with this and um just me opening up to people is like new because like i said i'm a personal person so um yeah so thank you guys <laughs> I just got a little shy, but thank y'all. I was just a little boy, everybody told me you could be whatever you want to be. So I told myself, I'm going to be a singer, I'm going to play on the keys. I can do whatever I want if I just believe, yeah. But then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career. Huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be all right with my guitar by my side. But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill and a tenner for my bus pass too. I could go back and tell myself that life is gonna hit you hard They say money won't buy you happiness But being broke really ain't a good time So all I want is just to get paid I know I ain't ashamed of trying to make a wage now
have to honor the man or woman that you are. Respect your body, enjoy your body, love your body, feed, clean, and heal your body. Exercise and do what makes your body feels good. Hey beauties, how we doing today? Hey y'all. So it is the next day y'all and um i was gonna bring y'all along with me for my sister's b-day uh dinner but um i am going to start off another vlog celebrating her birthday so that is exactly what we're gonna do plus like a couple of other things it is still really cloudy out here i think it's actually like about to rain it's supposed to rain like the first beginning of the day and then it's supposed to clear up but anyways i wanted to you know just chat with you guys for a little bit um i hope you guys enjoy like our self-care day it was so much fun i know that it was different than you know what you guys are used to uh, the manicure the pedicure um the getting the hair done and all that other type of thing but but i wanted to show you guys something else like other than that um because i can always show you guys that uh, of getting the hair done and all that kind of stuff which i'll show you guys i just wanted to you know give you guys a little bit more of you know like different content i would say but um more so like i said like on a personal side something that i feel as though it was needed for you guys to get to know me a little bit more better you know what i'm saying it's more to life than just me showing you guys just you know like materialistic things and stuff and you know just everything else but um i want to say hey how are you <laughs> just like so nice this a.m. like I actually I'm liking the energy you know what I'm saying like people aren't afraid to actually speak so um, anyways you guys I want to thank you guys for watching who is Tashiana don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and to also comment and I also want to say thank you guys again for watching who is Tashiana and I'm gonna see you guys on the next vlog